Positively Jax, one St. John's County art contest winner, is garnering national attention for her Hope Is video that's serving to inspire and uplift communities. Hope is a seed, a plant in the ground starting at the soles of your feet. Hope is the meaning of being. Hope is you. Hope is me. Hope is us, united together under the liberty of equality. Wow. That's local Douglas Anderson School of Arts ninth grader, Nevea Glover. The video is about two minutes and 15 seconds. It's in black and white and it she strings together rhythmic lines and uplifting anecdotes to define the theme of hope like you saw right there. So she joins us along with executive director for Jams this morning, Jason Peoples. Good morning, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Okay, that was incredible. And that was just 15, 10 seconds of it. And, and it's hard not to feel inspired. So explain to me, how did this all come about? What really inspired you to create this video? Um, well, um, I usually express myself through creating. So I think it's just me. I create things that'll make me feel good. And if it makes me feel good, then I know it'll probably make other people feel good. So um, the poem was just to inspire the people around me and just to uplift myself and those who who are in the same vicinity of me. Well, that's what it started as, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, hope is the stars aligning as if, what was that line? We just saw it up there. It, it was so wonderful. Hope is the stars aligning. It's the, it's the grass. A everything up there was just so poetic that we get to see your video on the side right now. Did it naturally just come to you as you were writing or, you know, was it really like a, okay, here's a line here, here's a line there? Um, well, I just took um, beautiful images that I I loved, like um, images that my friends loved, images that my mom loved, you know, just things that made me happy. And I compiled it together to make something really special. Well, I didn't know it was special at the time. <laughs> <laughs> it is very special. And that's where I want to bring Jason in. You know, Jason, when you first saw it and you, and you saw the video and its creation, what did you think? Uh, I'm not surprised. Um, you know, when when St. John's and Partners, uh, who's who's been uh, fantastic for us, uh, first introduced the contest to our students, um, there were there were so many amazing works that came out of the organization. And Nivy has been she's been writing like this forever uh, since she was in elementary school, and we fought to to get her in the villa, and then naturally she's at DA now. Uh, but she's been doing this forever. So just on this level, on a national platform and give everyone else a chance to actually experience it as well was, was huge. I, you know, I was going to ask you, were you surprised that someone who's in ninth grade can write like this? But clearly not. It, it sounds like this is just automatic and just a passion that naturally comes to you. It is. It, it's something that um, I've been doing for a while. Um, it turned out to be something just a way to, you know, relieve things and just to get it off my chest but then it became you know my life at a point and it's just continued to grow from there and it, it trust me it'll continue to grow tell me uh jason a little bit about the jams program yeah so jams is a, a creative youth development program um, our mission is to empower the creative leaders of tomorrow um, and we use arts and leadership to uh, address that as a conduit for that um, servicing students starting at uh, third grade, going through currently 11th grade, and we grow grade every year. Um, our, our biggest thing is just to create the next uh, creative thinkers and, and uh, diversity in leadership in Jacksonville. And um, our partners at, at St. John's uh, through their passion project has really helped us to uh, get the word out about what we're doing. And uh, we continue to grow and develop. And, um, and we're, we're really excited about that. Yeah, and clearly you guys are doing a great job. Nevea, what is next for you? Um, Probably just continuing to um, sharpen my craft, just continuing to do things, you know, with my peers and jams and my peers outside of jams, just finding ways to be creative as usual. <laughs> and are you going to be the next inaugural poet at the next uh, inauguration? I see it in your future. 
Let's hope so. <laughs> Let's hope so. Jason's nodding his head. He's like, oh, yeah, we're working towards Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Oh, well, thank you guys so much for joining us this morning to both of you. And it's just incredible what you guys do. So thank you. Thank you so much.